All right, AP, this is sample exercise 4.031, calculation of molarity. Calculate the molarity of a solution prepared by dissolving 1.56 grams of gaseous hydrochloric acid in enough water to make 26.8 milliliters of solution. Let's go ahead and press pause now because here comes the solution. So uh, first we calculate the number of moles of HCl that we have. Because remember, we need moles of HCl and we need liters of solution for a molarity calculation. Now the molar mass of HCl is uh, 36.46 grams uh, per mole. You can find that out easily by using your periodic table. So we're going to take the mass of HCl that uh, we know we have because the question gave it to us. We're going to use the molar mass as a conversion factor for HCl to generate moles of HCl. So now we have the amount of HCl. Uh, but before we can plug that into our molarity calculation, we have to convert the volume into liters, right? Because the calculation for molarity involves liters. It's moles and liters. The question gives us a volume, but it gives us milliliters of solution. So we're going to convert the milliliters of solution into liters of solution, right, 1,000 milliliters per one liter. And so we have our volume in liters, uh, 2.68 times 10 to the negative 2 liters. Finally, once we have these two values, we can put them into our simple molarity calculation, simple arithmetic here, and we get a uh, uh, molarity 1.60 molar HCl. Now, it's important to realize that the conventional description of a solution's concentration may not actually reflect the true composition of the solution. Solution concentrations are always given in terms of the form of the solute before it dissolves. Remember, once you're putting it into that water, the ions are going to dissociate, especially with this type of strong acid. Those ions are going to dissociate. You're going to have H pluses and C min or Cl minuses. You're not going to have Cl units. For example, uh, when a solution is described as being 1.0 molar NaCl, this means that the solution uh, was prepared by dissolving 1.0 moles of solid sodium chloride into enough water to make one liter of solution, it does not mean that the solution contains one mole's worth of NaCl units. Actually, the solution contains one mole of Na plus ions and one mole of Cl minus ions because the one mole of NaCl units dissolves, meaning they split apart due to the polarity of the water. 